Hey YouTube, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. It's a little bit chilly right now. It's early in the morning, but it's supposed to get hot today. And I thought I'd kind of show you what I'm doing and uh, kind of give you a little gear, a gear review or something. Uh, the first thing is this hat. You know, I've been around this earth for, for a, a fair number of years and I just discovered these hats uh, about two years ago. It's a straw hat. That's all it is. I bought it in a hardware store for about, I don't know, five bucks or something. But the thing is, it has this wide brim on it and it shades my head, neck, and shoulders from the sun. And it is going to get hot today. It's going up into the mid 80s, which will feel hot to us coming out of winter today. Air can go right through it. So unlike like a boonie hat, which gets pretty hot when you wear it on your head, this, the air just goes through it. And this, you actually feel a lot cooler when you wear a hat like this. So I've got a hat like that on today. Um, here's something we always carry on our belt. Let's see if I can show you this. We always carry a knife. Everybody here carries a knife, men and women. And uh, the men, a brother convinced us all to start carrying a multi-tool because we use them a lot for a lot of different things. And of course, we, we always carry gloves uh, with us when we're out working here, and uh, which is all the time. All right, what am I gonna do today? Oh, one more thing. Here's what I'm using today. We're starting to carry water bottles around with us when we work. Uh, just so we can keep our fluids up and it is getting hot. We don't want to get dehydrated and I've got a shovel there because Pastor Joe's going to be shoveling. Now, why am I going to be shoveling? What am I going to shovel? I'm going to tell you. About two days ago, matter of fact, it was two days ago, it rained and it rained pretty hard, but it hasn't rained since. Yesterday was sunny and today is a, uh, there's not even a cloud in the sky right now. And look what's coming out of our mountain. This water is just coming right out. Right here, look at how that's just pouring out of the mountain. That's just coming out of the side of the mountain because it rained. And it's also coming all the way up this ditch. We had this ditch dug uh, by a backhoe and then we had brothers line it with rocks. So it looks nice and those rocks also keep a lot of the silt from coming down and filling it up. But uh, let me show you what I've got to dig today, and we'll keep moving. Give you a little tour of our road. We had a problem with this ditch that, even though it's a pretty good ditch, you can see the water flows through it pretty good. At one point, it filled up over here. This is kind of like a high spot, if you will, and uh, water would just come right across the road. Well, when water comes across your road, that erodes your road, and it makes it bad. And you can see we're crowned fairly good. We have good sides. And so I think I shot a video where we dug a big ditch right here and we put a pipe in and the pipe goes across to take the water out. What we did, um, we followed the lead of a man called Sepp Holzer. He's like the grandfather of permaculture. And our pipe, instead of just coming out horizontally right here, which would then get sticks and leaves and everything in it, it comes up vertical. And so if a leaf comes down here, sometimes... This one, it's really high water right now. If the water's not that high, things get stuck right here. Right now the water's so high, this pipe's having a hard time keeping up. The other day, this pipe wasn't keeping up. There was so much water in here, you can see up here where it was, that it was still coming over the road. So we either need to add another pipe or put a bigger pipe in here. Um, and we haven't really decided which one of those we're gonna do, but look what happened. Pipe comes over here, and we like preserving everything here at Shofar Mountain. And so we were catching the water. Now we have a little problem, as you can see. We were catching the water in these two tanks, and we had not put in an overflow pipe that would then direct the water away. And so the water was coming out of both tanks, like you see it coming out of the one right now, and it eroded the foundation of that, that uh, barrel tank over there, and it tipped over. And so we have to fix that. We have to put a overflow pipe sticking out further downstream but it's been two days since it rained and look at that water just bubbling out of there just listen to it we're going to build a pond down there eventually when we get around to it uh, let me show you what else i've got to do so here's the road here's the ditch looks all nice everything's good until you get right here and you can see by the leaves across the road that the water was just flowing across this road and bringing the leaves with it and that's because it silted in right here now you'll also notice we don't have rocks on the high side here and 
I think that helped contribute to it a lot and this silt came down and just filled up our ditch right here. I mean, this ditch right here, which is no ditch, was as deep as that two days ago. And so the water was flowing across. So I've got to dig this ditch out today and uh, make it look right. So yeah, you know, I, I went to college. I have a master's degree <laughs> so I wouldn't have to dig ditches. And look at me. Here I am. I'm, I'm fixing to dig ditches for a couple hours probably to get that done. And while I'm here, I'll just show you something else. This right here is our duckweed pond. Brother Zach built this. Uh, he's using billboard line or not liners, the covering of a billboard. You know, when you look at a billboard, it's actually on vinyl, and the one side has printed material, you know, shop at Joe's or something, and the other side's just black vinyl. And so we flip it upside down. We got them cheap to free. We built a little box for them, and that provides our waterproof cover. And then he lined it with bricks. We're not done. We're going to line that side too so the sun doesn't erode our liner. But you can see we're growing duckweed, and that's water hyacinth right there. And we're doing that to feed our tilapia, which is going to go in our aquaponic system. And we're going to build a couple more of these uh, down here. That's why you see that ditch is a little bit wider than the other ditch. We're going to build more of these ponds. Hey, a little bit at a time. We work steady at it, and that's what we're doing today. I hope I see you out there.